Did you know that natural redheads are seriously rare? Less than 2% of the world's population has that fiery hair. So if you know a redhead, you know someone truly unique. But here's the thing. That specialness goes way deeper than just hair color. Let's dive into the fascinating world of redheads. Because science actually backs this up with some mind-blowing facts about them. Okay, first things first. So, what's the deal with red hair? Fact number one. Red hair is like a special recipe in our DNA. It's not just another color. Red hair comes from a tiny but cool tweak in our genetic code. Think of it like someone changing a cookie recipe just slightly and getting something totally new and awesome. This recipe change affects pigments. You know, the stuff that colors our hair and skin. While most people have more pigments for brown or black hair, redheads produce more of those cool red and yellow tones. Fact number two, redheads don't go gray like the rest of us. Now this is cool. While most of us start seeing gray hairs as we get older, redheads have a different path. Their hair doesn't turn gray. It gradually fades to white or a very light blonde. Instead of getting gray strands mixed in, their vibrant red slowly fades to a soft strawberry blonde, then eventually to white, like a sunset changing colors. Fact number three, they have fewer strands of hair, but they're thicker. It might sound weird, but redheads actually have fewer strands of hair on their head than blondes or brunettes. But each strand they do have is thicker. That's why their hair often looks so full and voluminous, something many people envy. Nature basically said, quality over quantity. Hey, okay, genetics are cool, but there's more. Their bodies actually work a little differently. Fact number four, they experience pain differently. This one surprises a lot of people. Redheads often need more anesthesia at the dentist or for surgery. Their bodies, specifically their nervous system, read pain, signals a bit differently. Doctors noticed this, and science confirmed it. They might need up to 20% more pain medication for the same procedure. But interestingly, they might be more sensitive to some types of pain and less sensitive to others. Wild, right? Fact number five, they're vitamin D champions. Redheads have a real superpower. They can produce vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin, faster than the rest of us. Their skin manages to do this even when there isn't much sunlight. This was probably super helpful for redheads living way up north in Europe, where sunlight is scarce in the winter. Smart move, body! Fact number six, they're more sensitive to temperature changes. A lot of redheads will tell you they feel it more intensely when it gets cold or too hot, and it's not just in their heads. Research shows that the same genetic quirk that gives them red hair also affects how they sense heat and cold. So if your redhead friend is cold, they're probably really cold. Red hair has always fascinated people. Fact number seven, red hair was a big deal throughout history. In ancient Rome, red hair was considered exotic and unusual. People with red hair always stood out, sometimes in a good way, sometimes not so much, you know, superstitions. Even the powerful Egyptian god Set was often depicted with red hair, symbolizing his fierce and extraordinary nature. Fact number eight. In some cultures, red hair was a sign of nobility. While Europe had some weird superstitions about redheads elsewhere in the world, it was a different story. In parts of Polynesia, red hair was seen as a sign of divine ancestry or noble blood. The Maori people of New Zealand traditionally valued reddish hair tones. They considered it prestigious and special, Cool, right? Fact number nine, redheads rule in stories and art. Even though they're rare in real life, redheaded characters keep popping up in books, movies, and art. From Anne of Green Gables to Jessica Rabbit, redheaded heroines are often portrayed as strong, passionate, and unforgettable. Artists throughout history were captivated by redheads, painting countless images of women with flowing red locks. Science is always discovering new things. Fact number 10, red hair might have helped survive the ice age. 
Scientists think red hair didn't just become more common in Northern Europe for no reason. It might have helped people survive during the last ice age. That awesome vitamin D trick could have been crucial during the long, dark winters. A real evolutionary advantage. Fact number 11. They might have unique immune responses? Recent research suggests redheads might respond differently to certain illnesses and medications, all because of their unique genetics. Their bodies might handle inflammation or immune challenges differently. Scientists are still studying this, but it shows how hair color can be linked to a ton of other things going on in the body. Fact number 12. Being a redhead isn't the same experience everywhere. In Ireland or Scotland, where there are more redheads, it might not be such a big deal. But in countries where they're extremely rare, redheads often become mini-celebrities. Many share stories about strangers coming up to them, asking to touch their hair or take pictures with them, especially when traveling places where natural red hair is almost never seen. Wow! Red hair is so much more than just a color, right? It's like a window into how tiny genetic differences create totally unique human beings. Red-headed women aren't just visually distinctive, they literally experience the world a bit differently in a bunch of fascinating ways. From how they feel pain or temperature, how they make vitamin D, even how they age, redheads remind us how amazing human diversity is. And who knows what else we'll discover as science moves forward. Instead of sticking to old stereotypes, it's cool to understand what really makes redheads special and appreciate that human diversity in all its forms. All right, your turn. Are you a redhead or know someone who is? Share your experiences in the comments below. Have you noticed any of these cool characteristics we talked about? We'd love to hear. And of course, if you like this, hit that like button and subscribe.